the deal with the BAR? The Browning automatic rifle was designed for use in World War I, and by the time World War II rolled around, it was pretty impractical for its time. But for reasons I'll explain, some soldiers loved it anyway. Some versions of the BAR weighed as much as 24 pounds unloaded. That's about as much as four AR-15s. And for you non-Americans, yes, the AR-15 is our standard unit of measurement. It was also almost four feet long. So for all that weight and length, you get a lot of firepower, right? Well, kind of, it fires a full-size rifle round, but you only get 20 rounds in a magazine before you have to stop shooting and reload. A lot of people in World War II didn't like the BAR for those reasons, but on the other side, a lot of people did. Fully automatic fire in a firefight is extremely important, and compared to other options, the BAR really wasn't that bad at it. The Browning 1919 was way better at suppressive fire, but keep in mind that that was even heavier than the BAR. It took a two-man team to operate, and it usually fired from a tripod. With the BAR, if you wanted to fire from a new position, you could just pick it up and move there, and even fire while you're moving. But with the Browning 1919, you'd have to move the gun, the tripod, the ammo belt you're using, and whatever cans of ammunition you have. It worked in some situations, but sometimes it was just inconvenient. People also liked it sometimes because it's what they had. It may not have been the best for suppressive fire, but it could definitely lay down more rounds than an M1 Garand or a carbine. If you're in a firefight and that's the only machine gun you have, you're going to be pretty happy it's there. Plus, the soldiers at the time didn't have the luxury we do of being able to look back at the BAR and compare it to all the other weapons and technologies of the time. They just used what they had and made the best of it. So what do you guys think about the BAR? Should they have replaced it after World War I or was using it all the way through the Korean War the right move?